Let's have a look at section 7.2, one to one and on to, and inverse functions. So if you have a function from domain x to codomain y, we say it's one to one if and only if for all elements x1 and x2 in x, if f of x1 equals f of x2, then x1 equals x2. Okay, before we go any further, let me talk about what this is really saying and how we can connect this to what we already understand about functions. So this is saying you've got a one-to-one -one function if and only if, if the outputs match, that is if f of x1 equals f of x2, then the inputs must match x1 equals x2. Now, as we know with functions, you can never have the same input paired with different outputs. Okay, that's one of the characteristics that every function um, must have, is that this does not happen. Um, this is saying, for a one-to-one -one function, you cannot have the same output result from two different inputs. So it's kind of reversing that the role of input and output. Um, not every function is one to one, okay. Um, but it's this concept is similar to one of those conditions of being a function if we swap input with output. Okay. Now another way, an equivalent way of looking at this, which you might find makes more sense for you, is a function is one to one if and only if for all elements x1 and x2, if x1 and x2 are different, then the outputs f of x1, f of x2 are different. Okay, again, you can't have um, the same output resulting from two different inputs in a one to one function. Okay, now another important concept or that some functions uh, exhibit and others do not is uh, the characteristic of being onto. Okay, so a function f from domain x to codomain y is onto if and only if given any element y in y, it's possible to find an element x in x such that y equals f of x. So all that's saying is that every element of the codomain is in the range, or to put it a different way, every element in the codomain is paired with something from the domain. Okay, not all functions are onto. Okay, and as I said a moment ago, uh, we can think of this as saying a function's onto if and only if its range is equal to its codomain. Okay, so I mentioned in the previous video that uh, the range of a function in general is a subset of the codomain. The case where they are equal, range and codomain are equal sets, is when the function is onto. Okay, one last concept from section 7.2 is the concept of a one-to-one -one correspondence. So a one-to-one -one correspondence is a function that's both one-to-one -one and onto. Okay. And when it's one-to-one -one and onto, uh, that allows for something special. Um, because the those two conditions of being one-to-one -one and being onto are similar to the two conditions that a function must have if we reversed input and output. Okay, because remember, to be a function, uh, you cannot have the same input paired with different outputs, but every element of the domain must be an input. And if we look at the concept of one-to-one, 
that's saying that you can't have the same output coming from different inputs and every element of the codomain is paired with something from the domain. Okay, so, so they match those two conditions of being a function, again, if you kind of reverse input with output. And what that tells us is that in that special case, when we have a one-to-one -one correspondence, we could reverse that arrow diagram and give ourselves a new function. Okay, so suppose f from domain x to codomain y is a one-to-one -one correspondence. Then there's a function going in the other direction from domain y to codomain x that we call f inverse, okay, the inverse of f. Um, and the way that that works is by exactly reversing that arrow diagram. So if f of x equals y, then f inverse of y equals x. Okay, so it, it literally is just taking the arrow diagram and reversing the direction of all the arrows. Okay, and if you're starting with a one-to-one -one correspondence, then that new thing that you get when you reverse those arrows will be a function. Okay. If, it, if you didn't have a one-to-one -one correspondence, that new relation you'd get would not be a function. Uh, I hope you found that helpful. Um, I think you'll find that the exercise in this section um, are definitely thought-provoking and interesting. Um, please let me know if you have questions. The next thing we'll talk about is another section in this chapter. Uh, we get into composition of functions. Okay. Um, again, hope you found this helpful. See you in the next video.